Okay, well, let's go into this in a bit more detail. David Monnier is the director of the Center for Africa-China Studies, and he joins us from Johannesburg now. David, the National Congress is a flagship event for China's political calendar. What were your key takeaways this year? Well, I think uh, the core issue is the target of 5%. But far beyond that, um, some of the core issues in terms of review of last year uh, work achievements and challenges, as well as uh, looking forward for 2024. Uh, a number of issues have been discussed, and I think a major uh, issue is this question of modernizing the economy and relying mainly on technology and how uh, best to bring uh, technology uh, in the mainstream to ensure that it alleviates some of these uh, major challenges the country confronts. And we mentioned there, obviously, that huge number of college graduates, of university graduates. How are they going to just find jobs for all of them? I think it's, it will be a, a, a huge challenge. However, I uh, think the question of promoting entrepreneurship on the ground, uh, reviving state-owned uh, enterprises, as well as attracting more investments. Uh, it's a question of continuing with the past economic policies, as well as injecting new innovative ideas to ensure that the economy uh, does well. It's a huge challenge to look at 5%, but uh, China has surprised the world uh, for the past 40 years. Chances are high that they might meet some of these um, challenges. Uh, given the fact that China confronts a major challenge with the Western world, I think the tension with the Western world is a major issue uh, as it doesn't have a massive technology to drive the economy. However, with a number of improvements uh, in technology, it, it, it won't resolve uh, issues in the short term. But in the long uh, term, I think we're going to see a lot of improvements. And one of the measures announced was even more investment in defence. Do you see this as an economic stimulus or rather a signal of perhaps more expansionist ambitions vis-a-vis, -vis, for example, Taiwan? I think it's both. Uh, on one hand, I think we also have to put this in a context uh, in which the United States and most Western countries are indeed incycling China. Uh, so here is a country that feels under siege and it has to respond in a manner uh, that uh, uh, putting defense at 7.2%. 7, 7 uh, it's something that uh, uh, the world can understand. However, there is so much tension, um, whether in the Red Sea and all other uh, places, Ukraine, and the world cannot afford um, a, a war in that, uh, in particular in South China Sea. Okay, David Monnier from Johannesburg. Really grateful for your insight and analysis on the show today. Thank you.